Hello there. So if you like to play role-playing games, DnD, or other things, I think this video is will be very helpful for you because we're going to use it AI, uh, GPT, AI render art to create our characters, environments, and maps. And I want to share with you some tips what I found out work for me, and hopefully that will work for you as well. First, we need to have access to Chat, chat GPT, and you can go to chat.openai.com. It's free access. Personally, I'm using the pro version, but it should be no different for you at all. What I want to do first is create my characters because it's kind of fun, you know, start with character. You can start with a story, but again, personal opinion. I go on and I'm create the bright character um, sheets for DD character level one dwarf warrior. And nice about this that is actually tell me yes, and it's using DD version. 5 edition which is actually very nice to know what edition is applied to this and you can see right here we have it all our information all stats pre-built for us armor level i mean everything it's just like full characters included name of the character featured traits background personality appearance it's having all of this information which is very nice and we're going to use this of course you can go and download it pdf sheets if you need it and fill up by hand them there or we can based on what we just created okay but that is just beginning it is description but i found out very nice when you have some visual reference or some visual creation to this so what are we going to do next it says give me visual description of this character so and this is provide a little bit longer kind of description of character and it's nice to know you know if you played you want to play in character and the description does help you actually can even ask on the background story for this character and it will be creating which is awesome and it's a lot of time save and help but here's another fun small tricks if you actually want to create the visual and render with ai just say on long optimize this description uh description to use it with like dali e prompt or any ai render art and actually what it does it's creating a little bit better description that you can copy paste however even the description copy and paste we still want to slightly modify that description when we start using render services and let give let me give you a few examples here for start we'll use it mid journey and you can notice it's actually create quite a bit nice character you can even copy paste in your pdf in your sheets you can save this image so it's create a nice one and depend on the style you're going with let me show you what i was doing i put it a front watercolor photorealistic and also i tried to remove like a name of the character just in case to reduce some confusion notice the position of the text will affect how it will permanent because if you take and put it watercolor on and on the back it won't have it as much weight because the weight will concentrate on the, which items come first so right here watercolor for the release color color and of course just copy description remove some small elements that you can go over and think they're unnecessary and also but not a sum it's still below honor and all the stuff so we can keep it also i put it additional stylization of norman rockwell stylization you can put it wherever you want stylization it is but that way it's slightly reinforced kind of watercolor illustration it's just my style i want to go with this one and you can see right here it's actually giving me quite a bit nice different look of the characters so i can go ahead and readjust them another small tip for you use it on aspect ratio if you're giving taller aspect ratio in many cases it's actually give you a little bit more preview on a character versus if you do horizontal it's kind of a little bit more cropping out on different square it definitely will render about up to um waste so right here it's a different and you can see it's a render many different very nice characters for me so yeah i can all what i need to do is just select it and of course if i need more illustrations i can tweak a little bit more with the prompt to add a little bit uh ink maybe watercolor so stylizations how i need to do to create that or you can go with another 
effect for example right here is leonardo and with this i decide even go like more on the stylization of cartoons because leonardo allowed you to create even more different styles there and you can go from photorealistic to like more more um type of style sheets you know character sheets with data whatever you do how you decide to create it and you can see this is more illustrated so again depend on your personal style what you like to do you can specify here and creating this visual and these visuals is excellent because when you see character it's help you don't necessarily need 100 copy but it does help you this way so let's do next one we want to create our campaign and again keep in mind it is not set in stones this is your beginning point it is where you can start growing your story but i found for me to give it those points where to start it's help a lot save it so i can actually keep on going this and as you keep on going you can specify for example if you give it right here act one journey begins adventure travels several days and by the way this is i was asked write the ng instruction introduction campaign for four characters and reason introduction because we have at level one characters and i specify dnd 5th edition so you can do this and they actually start building act one act two you can drill more down and it can ask like give me um more description about act one okay or right and chat gpt work very well with this and of course you can have it but because uh, we want to render visually see how that's happened how the cave look or how the tavern look or some other element so we can actually can go and ask right visual descriptions for each of them so we specified and in this case what i have it i have this environmental description it's not just what's happening there it's how the elements look outside next we can take those descriptions copy them and same using ai we can paste in and creating our environment for the tower outside and stylization again you can look which one you kind of like better so you can go with one i do like these options to say hey i want with these characters i want to do this and also with a mid journey what you can do if you like specific stylizations you actually can make creating versions for example right here if i like how those and a version two but i was going one two three four i can click right there and going in so we can actually adjust going inside the remix prompt and add elements here that we want to change as well we can upload it as an image and based on this image to continue so that way we keep it continuity so let me show you example what i was meaning by that for example i like this character right here i can right click and says copy image address so on this case because it's already in a discord it's remember and will reference this image so next what i need to do is go with imagine paste the reference of the image what i want to do as well i can copy some descriptions what we have it and as it's inside i can readjust this description for example water photo realistic we can leave it inside with various expression and muscular build so let's do this way i can put it in a quote like this and 1.4 so i can emphasize so it's more emphasized did on this build as well we can have it curly brown beard beard and school okay i think that is look he stand proudly sense of determination piercing eyes i think it's good we want just emphasize a little bit more on a build but you can modify anything you wanted as well if you wanted you can change the size but just example let's do this way and of course same can be applied for the environment for example if you don't like something in environment you can go copy the image paste it there and the rework on the environment for example remove lights add candle lights or add separate coloring so right here's an example of the environments including some like inside the cave but i think this actual cave look a little bit better and overall just keep it um go over a text when you print it like right here you can see it's easy just copy paste from there because i optimize for ai ask i ask ai optimize for the ai there you go 
But also, you know, any time you can add like what I did, like watercolor up front, if you like the stabilization ink or other things. And that will create actually very nice images that is good reference for your story. Okay, and right here, example, this is what we have it. Where is it a little bit more specified? And you can see how the beard look a little bit different. So it is you can tweak a little bit more with a um, image that you have it and based on this image create it more. So you can polish and guide it, the creation in a way you want it. So not just a AI created, it's created by you with AI help. And of course, here's a few more examples from this description you can see I put it watercolor it does give it a little bit different feeling but it's up to you but this inner um, inner chamber with forest a large circular room so it's have a very nice description and I did enjoy it when is the AI provide us with these visual descriptions make much more easy and untouchable so another thing is what we want to do we want to create the map as well and what we're going to do, it says write descriptions for DND map, optimized for AI generation, base it on campaign above. And nice things about this when you work with a chat GPT, whatever chat you're creating on sessions, it's actually based it on this. So all what I need to do is just to reference this story. It's one thing what I recommend for you to do. If you create specific campaign, create a brand new chat. Don't try to mix with something that was before because as chat GPT work, it's a mapping with weights. It's kind of create its own personality. Let's say this way, base it on the question and interactions base it here. So if you just created one chat for the your campaign, it's mean all reference, it will base it inside this chat. But if you change the subject, it could confuse and start reference wrong. So I find out just keep it one chat pair one campaign as you want to do. Okay, and when we're done, we can press enter. And of course, it will create it right here, map description of the map and other things. What we can do, again, when it's done, okay, we can take this map, copy, paste. But when we start rendering inside the, like for example, mid journey, we want to do imagine. First words, we actually want to put it how we want to look. So, the word isometric, I found it's work very well. Panoramic map. So those ones first, remember it says how the weight is going. You want to put those one first. Next one can copy paste. Of course, we can go and verify, but you know what? Let's roll the dice and see what we come up with. And right here is our result. If you don't like necessarily this isometric view, all what you need to do just says top down view the map and all this and this way you will have create a little bit more from top down view so if you specify but those words best if you use them up front to description because it's tell you how to create or create it the other things you can also try to do it's case drawing watercolor map you can also create the um, old map that is look a little bit more riggishy depend which way you're going but overall description, if you put it like top down map, that will create maps. Isometric, it's definitely will create it, but isometric will be a little bit more three dimensional kind of look on this. Okay, let's see what we have so far. And you can see we render separate images, a little bit large size. Um, most time the problem work for you, they're about 1024 by 1024. If you want to render them a little bit, then I will recommend for you to use it, the Topaz. Um, I used Photoshop before and I found Topaz work a little bit better for image upscale. You can create very crazy images. I will provide a link for this down below. Okay, let's see what we have right here. And you can see we have a different nice maps, which does integrated elements. Um, I did find in some maps we have this kind of gibberish, some language going in, going on. So what I usually do, I take this image, enlarge, put it in Photoshop, and I can replace this image with text, some other text, maybe even from chat GPT, put a text inside. 
If you don't really care and want to have it like maybe some unknown language people cannot read, there you can leave it as default. But right here you can see very nice, very interesting map as well created. So at this point, we have it, our characters created. We created descriptions of the characters. We created um, the our act, our mission, uh, list outline on this. We can uh, kind of going even more in with those acts. We can ask for more description to make them there. But in also we created map. So it's a campaign kind of start working for that for us. Hopefully um, it will help you as well with a text with creating true open chat uh, from chat GPT and with illustrations that you can create it with the other ones um, AI generator like uh, DALI, uh, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion or any other ones. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give us thumbs up, subscribe, share video. I appreciate your support. Have a great day.